What is up YouTube, Fanta here, and today we're playing another part of the campaign for Roller Coaster Tycoon World. Uh, let's see what the next level is. First level was making trash cans in bathrooms. It was absolutely thrilling. Let's see if this one's any better. I hope so, at least. The reason I don't like these campaign modes at all for these type of games is because they really don't need to be in the game. Just have... A lot of variety of roller coasters have a lot of variety of shops and continue to update, update the game with new maps and stuff like that. And we'll be happy because we like making our own theme parks. But instead, they allocate these resources to these campaigns that I guarantee nobody plays. And then, of course, they force you to actually play the damn campaign now because it's the only way to unlock a lot of the rides and shops, which is not the way you should have to do it. Anyway, uh, what do you think? It's a beautiful park, isn't it? Rolling hills, green ga grass, gas, green grass, trees, that deep ravine. There isn't a lot of space for those wonderful rides, is there? This will be a bit trickier, but I'll be honest. I'm excited to see what you come up with after a few slight modifications. Alrighty. Okay, complete the tutorial. Needs cleared out a bit. Show me. Use the delete button, the bulldozer, and delete at least 10 rocks. This is exciting. Delete 10 rocks. I like that it gives you a percentage instead of telling you how many rocks you've actually deleted. There we go. Hint, you can you turn on the mass delete. Where is that again? Ah, there it is, Mass Delete. Show me. Click on the Modify Terrain tool. Modify Terrain. Raise the terrain in the ravine. I like how the water moves, it's pretty neat. The thing that I'm not a big fan of in this game over Planet Coaster is I can't tell if I'm at ground level or not because the other one just stops at ground level. This one just keeps going. And the flat. Oh, okay. Never mind. That fixes it. Uh, flat. Okay, that did not fix it, actually. That made it a hell of a lot worse. Basically, I have to ri raise it up. A lot, and then let's try the flatten tool again. There we go. Hey, that actually worked. Proud of you, game, sort of. Oh. I guess that sort of fixed it? I don't know. Um, select the water tool, and then fill the ravine. That's pretty neat. Oh, someone's trying to make me join a chat, but I'm in the middle of making a video. Adding scenery around the rides. Build a flat ride in your park. Flat ride. We'll do a family ride. Twister. Okay. Game just froze. Oh, and I don't know where I am. Where am I? Where did it send me? Where was I? Where is this? What the hell? Okay, so this is where it was. Okay. I was a bit confused. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? In the original games... Oh, son of a bitch. There we go. If you did the ride, it would automatically adjust like the ground below it. Pretty neat. Now here in the year 2017, our games won't do that. Uh, play. There we go. 
Place three scenery objects near the flat ride to boost scenery. Boost his excitement rating, rather. Balloons. Um, let's put three. And another tree. Remember, you can use the grid. That's great. I just did something. Um, place four western themed inside the green circle. So, scenery, western. This is not very easy to navigate. Really? An NVIDIA sign? Uh... Where the hell... ...is the Western theme? These are Western. Where's the green circle? I have no idea where the green circle is. Okay, that works. Open the scenery menu. Purchase any locked items while using your tycoon credits. Why would I want to do that? Why don't I use these to buy rides? Uh, so I just have to purchase one item. I'll do... The club. There we go. A club shrub. That was... That was the mission, guys. Oh, that was exciting. So that's, uh... Level 3 of the campaign. I don't know if I should do a second... And it's only seven minutes in, I might as well, I guess. So that was not exciting. I know it's teaching me scenery placement, but you think it'd, I don't know, do it a different way. I didn't do any of the bonus objectives, but do I care, really? No. Oh, there we go, I can buy these now. Dragon's Fire, the Kraken, Cannonball Run, Ferris Wheel, Superflyer. Flying carpet. I'm just gonna buy all these. A ride. Oh, I just bought a roller coaster. Oops. Salad stand. Skeleton. Candy. First tiki. Can't buy. Oh, I used all my credits. I don't have a bitch. That's fine. We'll get more credits. That's cool. I didn't I didn't notice the buy option before. Maybe I just had to beat a couple missions first. Uh Loading, loading, loading. This game won't stop loading. All right. Listen, this is an exciting opportunity for you. It's not every day a tycoon gets the opportunity to build a city-themed park. Why would that be fun? All the fun of visiting the big city, plus a veritable smorgasbord of rides. Okay. Main objective, two shop stalls, and... Okay, we can do this. We need two ce uh, scenery. Um, <clears throat> souvenir, words. Can't buy any of these, that's unfortunate. Shirts. Panda bears. But you keep that up so I can keep track, that'd be nice, thank you. Open. Open. Is this open? Okay, guess it's open. Um, and then we've got restaurants, cool. I kinda like the look of this park actually. But my god, are the graphics really plain. Very bland. 
Oh, I forgot how giant this thing was. Why? You serious? Oh my god, this doesn't fit anywhere. Uh, uh, are you serious? This is ridiculous. It makes you buy everything. Come on, there we go. Um, what else should we put in here? Put the twister. It should fit. There we go, that's nice. I don't hear any music. I mean, the music's not very good in this game, so it's not really that bad that I don't hear anything. It's just weird. Road, there we go. Books. There we go, lots of people coming in. This absolutely pointless thing right here. Cool. Wild tycoon wings. Okay. I have a weird name. And then one more flat ride, and I think we're done. Is that all we need for this mission? It didn't really tell me to do much. It said build a, a park, do the thing. Um, which is, I mean, I guess it's good because it's given me freedom, but um, make people have to go through there to get to the ride. Why not? And then... Makes you like connect it in the middle of the path for some reason, makes no sense. Open, 225... What do you need to do now? Oh, you need six flat rides, okay. Junior rides. Fun slide. One slides are good. Congratulations on your first junior flat ride. I'm not sure why that was kind of an achievement type thing, but all right. How much money are we looking at? Oh, whoa, we only have 4,000. Not sure how the game expects us to afford to make any more rides if we only have 4,000. I wasn't really paying attention to that. This is the last ride we need though, I think. We'll be fine. Let's put it... Over here with the Ferris wheel. Pretty popular over here. Boom. That's it! That was the whole... That was the whole mission. Exciting. Absolutely riveting. So, yeah, there we go. Oh, I also noticed something. If you click Next Mission, it brings you back to this page. I don't know what the main menu button does, but I feel like it's still bringing you back to this page. So I'm not really sure why there's two buttons for that. That's just kind of a minor gripe. So, yeah, this is really boring. Not gonna lie. This whole campaign structure is... I don't know. I don't remember how it was for Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2, but I don't think it was this boring. Remember they gave you like either a failing park or a park that needed improvements, and then you try to get to a specific population and money goal, whereas this is just like, build a couple rides, hey you did it, good job. And there's really no strategy to it, so it's not exciting to do any missions.
But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this has been informative to you. You can see what the campaign's like. Uh, I don't like it. But that's really up to you guys. You think it's worth it. Um, let's just real quick look at how many places there are. So there's one, two, three... Okay, so there's only three. And then, oh, I guess you have to unlock a completely different set of things. Now, I don't know if that means you can't unlock everything unless you do every single bonus mission. And if that's true, I hate this game more than I already do. Because that's stupid. You should be able to use everything when you're building your own park. Because that's the fun of it. The variety is the fun of it. So, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, have a fantastic day.